whole new Pokemon game. <laughs> no, not that one. This one. They're coming out too fast now, I can't keep up. It's been two months. You must be wondering what my complex and insightful thoughts on these new games are. Well, I can tell you that as of writing this script... I haven't played him. What do I look like? Some kind of Pokemon YouTuber? I don't have time to play Pokemon. I've been too busy playing Pokemon. <laughs> So when I got an email from Nintendo asking me if I wanted a copy of Brilliant Diamond, I was like, yes please. I wanted to stream the game on my Twitch channel, but I didn't know what to do. I suck at streaming actual playthroughs because for the life of me I can't focus on the game and chat at the same time, my head isn't big enough, it's too hard. But shiny hunting is easy. So I decided I was gonna do a shiny hunt. I was gonna hunt for a shiny starter, make this new adventure even more special. So which Sinnoh starter has the best shiny? Spoiler, it's Chimcha. But I was way ahead of the game. I already hunted for a shiny chimchar in my pearl 11 years ago when I was 12, and I found one! After a few hundred resets I got the little pink monkey and it was a female too. That's really lucky. I named her Cookie. This infinite is probably older than some people watching this video. So what'll we go for this time? My favorite of the three is actually Piplup, but it's shiny, it's pretty bad. But then I remembered. Something uncompleted from my past. No, not again. How many times are you gonna do this? I had a quest to undertake. For you see, long ago I had dreamt of finding a shiny Turtwig. When I was 13, I bought a copy of Pokemon Platinum. I'd never played the game before, I was excited. And I decided I was gonna play through the game with a shiny Turtwig. I'd not long found the Chimchar and I was on a shiny hunting high. I did a few thousand resets over a few years, but I never found it. And to this day, I've still never played Platinum as a result. I'm a fraud of a Pokemon YouTuber, I know. I'm stuck here for the past 10 years. But why should you believe me? I could just be lying for content. Well, I got proof. From the Candy Eevee archives. My first ever outro from 2013. Made with the help of Microsoft Paint, Movie Maker, and my parents' family computer. Complete with stolen artwork and everything. Some of my finest work. And would you look at that? It's a shiny Turtwig. There he is! And now, with the release of this new Sinnoh game, I have been presented with an opportunity to finally complete another one of my childhood quests. So I got stuck in right away looking for my little blue turtle. But hunting these starters is brutal. Every reset takes just just under two minutes each. I was streaming for around five hours every night and would usually get around 150 resets done. When you're on to finding a shiny or around one in 4,100, it's not ideal. But it gets worse. For every starter you see, the starly you encounter is equally likely to end up shiny. It's actually kind of funny because Game Freak deliberately shiny locked the Puchiana and Auras for this reason, but Ilka knows no such mercy. This is a faithful remake. The starly stays shiny. And the thing is, I'm kind of overdue for one of these. I've shiny hunted starters with these uncatchable encounters a few times. In Ruby and Sapphire, you can get an uncatchable shiny Puchiana, or a Zigzagoon in Emerald. I only ever got the uncatchable shiny once, and I got four shiny starters. That's around a 15% chance I was super lucky. But the odds of getting five out of six for shiny starters isn't in my favor, so I was a bit daunted going into this. But the new game excitement was getting to me. I saw a bunch of my friends getting shiny starters, and I wanted in. I wanted to feel included. Before I knew it, the first week had passed. I was at around a thousand resets and hadn't found a shiny turtwig or Starly. I still had not played the game at this point, but it was too late to go back. In this time, a narrative had started to form. In the 10 years since I started hunting it, I'd never come up with a nickname for this shiny turtwig, but over the course of a few streams, it was decided that he was going to be called William. A good, polite name for a good, polite Pokemon. Even if it was female, I was still gonna call it William. Another week passed. I hit 2,000 resets and I started getting desperate. I was starved of those precious sparkles. I would have gladly taken a shiny Starly at this point. In a weird way, I was almost hoping I found one. I already have three of these, you can't hurt me. I started to feel worried for William. Why had my son not yet come home? I hope he's okay, wherever he may be. All the while, I fear an uprising for the many hundreds of Turtwig I had to reset over. Lake Verity was filled with a mountain of rejected turtles. Around this time, I found out that my friend Alex from the Euro Guardian was also hunting for a shiny Chimchar, and was at around the same number of resets as me. This spurred me on, because then if I got the shiny first, I could rub it in his face. It's a double win. My general advice for someone also trying to find a shiny starter this way is don't. I had so many people coming into my stream and asking me why I didn't just Masuda method it or look in the underground for a shiny turtwig. <laughs> and they were right, but I was too far in. I've wasted so much time looking for this shiny. It would be a waste to not waste more time. I might have been overdoing it a little. I was streaming until 2am most days. I started getting worried texts from my family. My dear sister asks, 
How have you played 70 hours of diamond already? Three question marks. I told her of my quest. Bloody hell, woman. So 70 hours is you soft resetting? Yes. What the f***? I reached 3,000 resets with no shiny of any variety and I almost didn't want it to end. Maybe I can set a record for the most resets anyone's ever done. I need to feel some form of accomplishment. At the very least, I want to hit 100 hours spent doing this because that'll make a really good title for my video. I started to wonder if there was something wrong with my game. This was a gifted copy after all. Perhaps Pokemon Shiny locked the entire game just for me. I feel so special. You know, if you have colors calibrated on your monitor the right way then they're meant to look the same in person but like they never do they never do <laughs> Yo. <laughs> william william hello william greetings william there it is there he is now i get to play the game crazy <laughs> No, what am I gonna do with my streams now? I was counting on, on hunting this for like another month. Oh no. This is the fruits of my labor for the past three weeks. No Starly, I didn't get a Starly, what the heck? Five shiny stars, one uncatchable. Like that's not how it works. I'm so lucky. <laughs> Let me save. Let me save my little game. 10 years. My 10 year endeavor has, has come to an end. Found William. Gonna take a picture of him with my phone. I'm going to send it to Aura Guardian. He's at like 3k for a chimchar. Just be funny. The Lost Post has worked. After three weeks, he finally came home. He's not named William right now, but we know it's him. I recognize my son anywhere. How did I not get a Starly? Like, I'm, I'm just untouchable. I'm not gonna lie, I kind of wanted the Starly. I was deprived of a Starly. I didn't get the, um, the full shiny starter experience. William. My son. Here I thought they'd given me a special custom version of the game just for me so that I could have infinite stream content, never finding shinies. I guess I didn't. Scratch- you scratching me! Okay, here is where I keep- get a crit on me! Monkey. Monkey's not kind. He won. I'm so proud of my son. I'm so proud of him. I've got stickies. I want the letters. I want the letters so that I can write rude things. Don't see, the, don't see the letters. Disappointed. Little party sticker, we're having a party. A little heart, a little heart for my son. Make a swear word, don't you think I wanna make a swear word? I'm disappointed. They took that feature away from me. It looks stupid. <laughs> so sad, so sad I don't get to put my rude letters on the ball anymore. This is not a faithful remake. So I finally obtained William after three weeks, 3,016 resets done, and 100 hours invested in this hunt. I think I went for 100 hours. Let me just check my stream time. Are you kidding me? What about my YouTube title? I'm doing it anyway. It rounds up. Call me a clickbaiter. I did not just tirelessly stream for 98 hours and 15 minutes to be deprived in this manner. Let me have this. But I found the blue turtle. I somehow managed to avoid getting an uncatchable shiny again. I can now finally play the game. And best of all, I got to rub my shiny in the Aura Guardian's face. I got to rub my shiny in his face for four hours. I still say it was worth it. Hey, guess what? I'm streaming the actual new Pokemon game right now, Legends Arceus. Looking for a shiny Bidoof, it's gonna be so much fun. Thanks for being patient. I have a lot of really fun stuff I want to do this year. I only ask for your continued patience because I've got a lot going on outside of YouTube right now. Once I've got everything IRL sorted, I will be unstoppable. But for now, it's all a bit much. I'll try not to take two months to upload the next video. See you on stream. Bye.